Can someone please write to the Premier League and ask whether this season can just continue a bit longer? Burnley match review. <laughs> Welcome back to another video on the channel, Newcastle fans. If you are new to Black and White Banter, make sure you drop down, give us a like, give us a subscribe, and get us on Facebook and Instagram as well. Black and White Banter, all one word. So, we got over the line against Burnley. Cracking result. Um, not the best game, really, but a great way for us to bow out. Um, it was never going to be a great game, was it? Everything that was riding on it for Burnley... You know, will he stay up? Can they, can they get something from us? We didn't really have too much to play for. We just wanted to go out on a high. And it was kind of reflected in the performance. Just, you know, the match itself was a spectacle. There wasn't going to be many neutrals. We'll be, we'll be entertained by that. But I thought for large spells, we were good. Um, I thought we edged the first half without creating too many chances. Um, obviously, got the goals where, where, where we needed them. And I'll, I'll touch on the goals in a second. But... Yeah, I thought it was just an okay performance. And as the match went on, the way that we conceded, we expected Burnley to pile some pressure on. If it was us who were trying to get a point to stay up, we probably would have been thrown the kitchen sink at it. So that was always going to come. And the last 10, 15 minutes was hard to watch with the corners getting thrown in. Relentless pressure. But we got over the line and it's a fantastic end to what has been an absolutely remarkable second half of the season. Absolutely remarkable. The commentator said in six months and one day... Newcastle have gone from 20th in the league to 10th in the league. Obviously, that was at the time during the game we were, it looked like we might finish 10th. I think we've ended up finishing 11th. But how remarkable is that? Six months and a day, 20th to, to 11th in the league. It's just, And then if I look where we're close to, I think Man United are like, is it nine, 11 points ahead of us in the table? And we were at the bottom at Christmas time. And then that's that's the difference between us and the likes of Man United. It's the job I was done, and we keep saying it. We sound like stuck records. Every single Newcastle fan sounds like a stuck record, but absolutely remarkable. Now, standout performers for me today from that final final game were first and foremost big shout for uh, Jamal Sells. I thought Jamal Sells today was really really good in the first half. He made some crucial blocks when Burnley were in attacking areas and they were trying to slip that final pass. Where they had another player, normally Corner. Corner, he was about to be cleaned through. Lascelles made some decisive blocks. I thought his his leadership generally at the back looked quite good. And he just looked quite comfortable on the ball as well. And I think he was probably the one in the team that most people would have said today, that's our strongest side, apart from Jamal Lascelles. And fair play to the lad. We don't know whether Lascelles is going to have a future at Newcastle. I think he will. I don't think Eddie Howe is going to get rid, rid of his club captain. And he's certainly not a bad player. But yeah, I thought he put a really good shift today. I also think another shout for me for, for Longstaff. We still don't know whether Sean Longstaff's going to sign that contract. Apparently, it was you know it was being reported he wanted to ask for more game time to be guaranteed. I don't think he's going to get that. But I thought first half he was one of our best players. He was breaking everything up in that midfield and he was kind of making us tick. And so that, that's another one. And obviously, it goes without saying today, Callum Wilson. Wow, have we missed Callum Wilson. He was fantastic against Arsenal on Monday. And I said in my match preview, I expected Callum Wilson to get on the score sheet because he was going to be desperate to finish the season with a bang after missing so much football. And he's just a predator. And I honestly think that Callum Wilson, if he wasn't made of glass and played more football, would be one of the best strikers in the Premier League. Because I was talking to one of my friends about this today. For us to go out and sign a striker, it's a difficult position. There are not many strikers you can guarantee you're going to get 15, 20 goals a season. And I think Callum Wilson, when he is fit, he's piercey. He's always on the shoulder. And even with his second goal today, his, his predatory instinct to put the ball in the back of the net is amazing. Um, so they were my three standout players today. I thought Maximin, who you know I've been quite critical of more recently, I thought Maximin put in a better shift today. Um, he contributed a fair bit. He got the assist for the second goal, a fantastic cross. Don't know where the Burnley defenders were, though. Um, you know, he was he was responsible for the second pass before the goal. For the... Um, for the... Oh, sorry, no. Penalty. Ignore that. But, yeah, I thought he was better today. I thought he was better. Um, Almiron, full of running again, as he is, always full of life. And I think I think I speak for every Newcastle fan seeing Joe Linton go off in the first five, ten minutes. Let's hope that he's OK. Apparently, Eddie Howe, in his interview, said it was just a cut. He had a deep cut, so that's good. 
I didn't know whether it was like hamstring, anything like that. But if it's just a cut, season's over now, he can recover. That's that's positive to hear. And apparently he was in good spirits in the dressing room. So, yeah, all in all, not a bad performance. I mean, the the penalty decision, what, the, the handball, what is the kid thinking of? I and mean, Burnley, Burnley were up against it. Their lives were going to be hard enough as it was. And then he sticks his hand out. I could not believe that he'd done it. Great penalty from Callum Wilson. Cool as you like. And then the second one, as I mentioned earlier, great balling from Callum. Now, the goal that we conceded, it was a little bit disappointing because I thought Maximin lost the ball way too easy on the right-hand side. And that's where the goal came from. He kind of got bullied off it and just let him run on. There was no desperation to try and win it back. He just kind of said, go on, then you have it. But we cannot complain today. If we'd have lost the game today and Leeds had maybe gone down, I know there's plenty of Newcastle fans would have happy, happily seen Leeds go down. So it's one of them. And whilst I'm on the video, and I, I didn't think there was, it looked like our fans acted with class today in the away end because it's not nice to get relegated. We all know what it's like. I'll never forget Aston Villa, how awful their fans were us to that in that day, 2009, when we first got, went down to the Championship. That was awful. And we've all been there. It's upset and it's sad. And it looked like we were pretty classy with that today. So it's not nice to see Burnley. I said on my match preview, I won't be bothered if Burnley go down because I don't see them as offering very much to the Premier League. But it's not nice. And it was weird to be involved in that today. Like they needed a, they needed two goals. Then they only needed a goal. And then they needed two goals again because Leeds it was just all a bit up and down. But it was nice to be a part of the same as the, cha the title race and the Champions League race. We've, we've been a part of it all. So, I think we all have a bit of time for reflection at the end of the season. I'm sure I'll do a video in a couple of days on the season as a whole. But I think we can all crack open a beer tonight. Think about what an amazing fucking roller coaster this has been since January. And just what that group of players has managed to achieve. Everything from Amanda Stavely and Co. all the way down to the, the substitutes on the substitutes bench and the kit man. It's been a fucking incredible turnaround and one of my most memorable seasons just because if you'd gone back to January and told me we'd be finishing almost 10th in the league well if you told me at the start of the season we'd have a new owner be finishing where we finished in the league and the world would be our oyster and the atmosphere and the vibes in the city and this football club would be restored beyond any kind of level I could ever have dreamt of I would have punched you in the balls and said you were chatting a load of shite so on that note Newcastle fans I just want to say thank you very much to every single person who subscribed to me on YouTube, dropped us a follow on Facebook and Instagram, and just keeps supporting the Black White Band. Because I only do this because I enjoy it. I like to have a bit of a laugh with it. And I cannot wait to do more videos next season with the transfer window coming up and just the hope and the excitement that's building now because something is bubbling. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. We signed off with three points. You couldn't ask for any more. How are the fucking lads? Sing the